What's up, sweetie? Hi, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today we are out at Echoplex with the one and only Becky Hill. Hi, Becky. Hi, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. I love your makeup, and I'm so excited to be here today. Yeah, me too. Um, we got a sold out night tonight. Um, and it's we've got the support act God on at the moment, so it's um, I think we're in for a good night. I mean, starting from The Voice UK, being a semi-finalist on Jesse J's team, to now being in Los Angeles, California, sold out show, your third show of your first US tour. How surreal is this? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I was on The Voice on the first series of The Voice over in the, in the UK, and that was 10 years ago now. So I've been in the music industry for 10 years. Um, I've written songs that people will know, but have no idea that it's me. And it's really nice now to come over here and see that same surprise on people's faces that I've been experiencing in the UK and Europe for the past five or 10 years, where it's like, oh my God, she's done this song. And oh my God, I didn't know this was her. And um, yeah, I'm excited to, to let America know who I am. That's sometimes the best reaction though, honestly. But, you know, looking at this tour, first tour, how's it feeling? I mean, are you excited? You go to New York after this, another sold out tour, another show. So how's that? I mean, coming to America, sold out almost every night. Take us through those feelings. It was, every night's been sold out. Um, I had to put on a second date in New York because the first one sold out so quick. So it's, um, it's, it's mad like to, to know that I can sell out shows, even if it's like small capacity rooms currently. You know, I think what's great is like I've always had this underdog mentality of like, I'm gonna show people, I'm gonna prove people. And, and I really, um, I'm really excited to do that here and to, to see myself so welcomed and, and you know, received so well over in the States. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see and it's a great jump off point. And I'm really excited to get to other areas of the States and, and, and kind of preach, preach the religion of Becky Hill. So looking at, you know, when your fans know your music, is there one song that has stood out in particular, this tour that all your fans know that has really stuck with you and you're like, okay, this could be a favorite moment for me? It was definitely My Heart Goes. I think, you know, to see people's reactions to that song and it's so mad, like, I think, you know, it was kind of released at the end of the pandemic, so it was kind of like bits and pieces of like shows that I could see people reacting to that song. But it's so nice to see people being like, oh my God, I love this song. And, and to, for them to, it's such an easy song to sing along to. Um, so I think it's definitely, it definitely has to be My Heart Goes. Everybody, everybody kind of resonates with that song. I love that song. And you know, you've worked with some of the biggest artists also in the industry from David Guetta, to now Galantis with your new song run to so many more. So, you know, teaming up with these huge names in the industry, has there been any advice or a moment working with these artists that you've taken from, you know, working with them? I think one thing that I've really battled with is kind of imposter syndrome and what working with Getta and, and Galantis and MK and Sagala and, you know, these people that are, that are really high level. Um, it's taught me that I, I, I totally have my space in that and I deserve to be there. And actually there's no woman that is doing that. There is no female getter. There is no female Galantis. There isn't anybody doing that in the way that they're doing it. And it shows me that there is a gap in the market here that needs filling. And, you know, I want to be the dance version, the singing dance version of all of these artists. And, and I think that has shown me that I can. And she's coming and she's doing that. But Becky, you know, looking at your song Run with Galantis, tell us how that came to be. How did that collaboration come to be? Because that song your fans are absolutely loving. Um, it was it was something of last, I think it was like last year. Um, they sent through an instrumental and I think it was supposed to be for, for them. And I ended up writing Run Over the Top with my best friend Emma Nike. Um, who's been on multiple tracks like Housework by Galan uh, Jax Jones and loads of other really big tunes. Um, so me and him were just kind of sat there and I had this, this idea for the chorus and we kind of wrote the whole song around it and then Galantis kind of came back and was like, ah, that's supposed, that was supposed to be for us. Um, 
but we were like, please, please, can we have it? And they were like, yeah, sure. So um, it was really beautiful to work with Galantis because they were so respectful and so lovely and they gave us the instrumental and we had this great song together. So, and that was back in what I think it was like, March, fe late February, March now. So it's, um, it's nice to see it still resonating with people. Now, Run also has surpassed 45 million streams. So when you hear that number, is that just still so crazy to think? It's weird. The numbers, number, generally numbers have never really, like, translated to me very well. I kind of see success as in shows and people singing along and you know chart success but like the like streaming numbers are for me like completely alien um so yeah i mean but it, it sounds like a big number right <laughs> sounds like you have a lot of fans and a lot of fans love you around the world but last question for me that being said for the fans watching this at home what's next what can they be expecting from becky hill so after Run, I did Crazy What Love Can Do with, with David Guetta and Ella Henderson. And I've just released a new single with Joel Corey called History. So more music to discover if you are still kind of that run. Um, I have obviously got this tour and then I come back to America in like two weeks and do lots more writing. And I start writing my second album, which I'm very, very excited about. My first album, Only Honest on the Weekend, is out for people to listen to um, while I go away, it's squirrel away and write more songs. <laughs> there we go. Becky Hill, we are such fans of you. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. We will be here watching you rise to the top as much as you are already. But you guys, that's it from us. We are here at Echoplex about to watch Becky Hill. Make sure you guys are giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to Sweetie High down below. Thank you so much, Becky. Thank you. Thank you.